Welcome to my Dusty Dirk documentary, a Dirkumentary, if you will. For this special Dusty Dirk video, I will be running through a complete history of Meep City and its effects on Alex Neutron, Roblox, and even real life media. Now, before I start, I will have to say a few things. I have set up chapters on this video, however. So if you'd like to skip around, you can do that. Hello, Dirk here. I spent around 30 hours researching this topic over the course of two weeks and spent countless hours editing and voicing all of this by myself. Now I don't know that because I haven't edited anything yet, but if you could rate the video after watching and comment a few suggestions on a future video, that would be a huge help as this channel's content is mostly built up around the people who watch it. I'd also like to thank you all for helping me achieve 350 subscribers and all the recent support on my creations on YouTube. This show would not be possible without you, and I thank you for the funny internet points. I'm also 650 subscribers away from being able to make community posts. It would be a huge help if I could achieve that goal one day, since I currently have no way of updating any Dusty Dark subscribers other than using Discord, since I was banned from Twitter around 13 times. I'll shut up now. Enjoy the Dirkumentary. Alex Bonello, a game programmer and a gamer himself. To understand this story, we'd have to go back all the way to 2007, where most people watching this were nothing but a wee lad. Alex created his Roblox account on December 15th of that year, and in 2009, he made his first big hit game using the Roblox client. He could make games like no one else, and maybe you'll see that later on. And Alex had a dream. This idea has been in his mind for over a decade. A meep idea. The start of something huge. Socialmeeps.net Now due to a small lack of information about the Social Meeps development, it's unknown how long it took for the website to be made. But on January 2012, Socialmeeps.net was made. And shortly after, became available to the public. It was pretty successful being built of mostly Roblox users and Club Penguin fans. It had a lot to do at the time and the social aspect was said to be fine for the website. The customization was also very close to Roblox however, having body parts, hats, that's about it. And the website was also very close to resembling Roblox.com in that era. All of these similarities made people wonder if they would rather play Roblox or Club Penguin rather than this new game, which hasn't built up a reputation yet. But the Social Meeps map is what made it live for as long as it did, along with the people in it. You had four main places that you could roll around to. The beach, the coin shop, a pizza parlor, which you may hear more about later, and Purple Moon, a club type place that hosted a lot of the Social Meeps users. And with tons of hats, meeps, unique players, and even a fully functional forum board, it was pretty safe to say that early Social Meeps was a success. For now. It didn't take very long for socialmeeps.net to start making big changes. They added limiteds in the same year of release. The social meeps limiteds work very similar to Roblox limiteds. You can buy and sell limited stock hats and meeps. However, people started noticing that social meeps was very close to Roblox around this time. And in 2013, Social Meeps would turn into something completely different. The website would be shut down for new code 
and a total rework of the site would take place. And after a whole year, Social Meeps would come back again, with a new website title being MeepCity.com. After a whole year of no Social Meeps, it's not too known how the Social Meeps fans reacted. The website was noticeably changed in a major way. I couldn't find much, but what you're seeing on the screen is everything I could find in around a six hour research period on this chapter alone. Saying MeepCity.com has very little documentation is a bit of an understatement. But with the major site changes hitting the Meep universe like a truck, there were a lot of people playing the social game until they weren't. Alex Neutron pulled the plug on the Meep City website. No warning, no major announcement, nothing. People who spent money on the game, or time, got nothing. People were noticeably upset with this. As we enter the era of the internet where everything is documented, people as big as Linkmon99, you may know him, he's a trader, he trades, went out of their way to mention how angry they were about losing MeepCity.com. The whole MeepCity community was in shambles, to say the least, and it would be a while before another big thing took place. On September 11th, 2015, Alex Neutron finally broke the silence on the Meep universe after a long delay, making an absolute bombshell of a tweet. Of course, people were confused on what to think of it, as most of the social Meeps fans were disgruntled with Alex after he utterly destroyed the Meep universe. But as days passed, more Meep universe information was given. Until exactly one week later, Alex Benello would announce a Roblox project that would eventually change the lives of over 1 billion people. Meeps in Roblox. And in late September, it finally happened. Meep City in Roblox. Kind of. Finding documentation on the early stages of Meep City Roblox is pretty hard, but according to the trailers and the reviews posted on the official Roblox YouTube channel, you can see it was clearly a minigame type place on Roblox, where you played as your meep and would rush down a pre-made track, collecting stars and getting to the finish efficiently as possible. It was physics based, having unique controls and tough maps. It was also designed strictly for mobile use, like your phone and your iPads, but it could also be played on computer. The game was very similar to Hamster Balls on the PlayStation 3, something that has come up more than once when talking about Meep City, which is strange. The Meep City Star Ball game was pretty well received considering the outrage with social Meeps as if no one knew what happened. Having enough content to keep the average 2015 mobile player satisfied, but somewhere in the summer of 2016, the Meeps universe would eventually be changed in an earth-shattering way for the last time. The final iteration of the Meep legacy, the King of Kings. Meep City. Roblox servers were so bad at the time. Roblox servers are still terrible, actually. Roblox servers are so bad that when Meep City went public, Roblox.com experienced one of the greatest surges of players at the time, breaking the website and making many players unable to join places and buy their items. Meep City already etched its name in Roblox history from the day it came out, and it didn't even stop there. It quickly became one of the top Roblox games for kids to socialize and play with. Meep City had many things to do at the time. 
You could make pizza in the original pizza parlor. You can fish and even customize your own meep house. But by far the most popular part of the game at the time was customizing your own meep. That's right, instead of becoming the meep, you own a meep. You can name your meep, dress your meep, even play with your meep. The social game clearly had it all made. It was very safe to assume that Meepsy would host tons of fun-loving kids for years. And how wrong you'd be. It didn't take long for 2016 Roblox players to do their thing. There was a big problem at Roblox. Children's privacy and safety were kind of constantly at risk due to what some experts in the field called pedophilia. People were abusing Alex's creations to harass kids over the internet. There's another feature in Meep City that was added, parties. These parties were designed to be a place where you could show off your Meep, your house, and maybe your Roblox items, whatever you want to really show. But in 2016, again, players were very different from the ones you see now. While a child's safety is always in the risk when you step into an unknown, you could really say that about anything, about anyone. In 2016, going to a Meep City party could only mean one thing. Sex. This problem created a ton of controversy within Roblox and children's gaming in general. Real life news articles and concerned parents were pretty mad at Meep City. It was a huge mess at the time. Roblox and Alex Neutron combated this issue pretty well for the situation. Alex removed all harmful emotes and actions that would allow kids to do such acts. He also removed anything that could help them, such as beds, hidden rooms, and whatnot. Roblox even went as far as to update the chat filter very... It was met with controversy, but it was exclusively because of Meep City. Now, to prevent people from talking about sex, Roblox went very far with the chat filter. Some would say it kind of destroyed chatting in Roblox anyways, and people were still committing such heinous acts, and it was very hard to control, with Meep City hitting 5 million visits in 2017. And even worse, big Roblox creators were going out of their way to talk about this, saying Meep City is a horrible place. While they kinda were correct, this only angered the community of kids slash adults that like to join Meep City parties. And eventually, Meep City would become known as the place where you have terrible parties. Now, it's hard to pin the exact day Meepsy became the host of the people that play it today, but this specific controversy tipped Meep City over the edge along with Alex Neutron, making it one of the most infamous games in Roblox history. Well-known crybaby Green Lego Cats 123, also known as Cow Cow, and many other people he knew were huge dislikers of Meepse. Due to its current situation of children online dating, you couldn't really blame people for disliking it. But Cow Cow's series of videos on Meep City and Alex were pretty big and gained a lot of traction. Meep City lost almost all of its steam as a fun place for kids, and people who watched Cow Cow really did not like Meep City, and they did not see it as a fun place. And eventually, Meep City would earn its reputation it still has today as a toxic cesspool. Alex Neutron and Cow Cow were pretty big enemies on the internet, you see. Almost every confrontation just starts from Cow Cow crying at Alex for a reason unrelated to what he's posting about, practically begging for his attention. But Alex just tells him to take it to Roblox, because this brings me to another problem. Roblox is the one at fault for their moderation team at that time. And their moderation team was not that good at the time. 
thankfully, it has been updated since. But no one listened to Alex for telling people to take all their problems to Roblox. Since Alex w is currently a retired intern at Roblox, it's easy to think he's the one in control here. But believe me when I say that no one cared about Alex Neutron and what he had to say, sadly. There are many other videos just trashing Meep City, and sadly, it was rightfully deserved as Meep City sadly became a huge hot spot for children doing things. And on July 31st, Cow Cow was terminated on Roblox. The reason why this is so relevant to Meep City is because many people believe that Alex himself was involved with the termination. And this greatly impacted Meep City. As you've seen, Alex is pretty not tolerant of internet trolls. And people taking their anger out on him. It was not a good idea. And people would believe that Alex was the one who terminated him. But that's kind of a lie that Cow Cow made for attention. You see, Alex is a simple man. He likes Meeps and, I think, Nintendo games. I, I didn't research a lot. And people accused him of terminating their beloved YouTuber. Which made Alex's reputation go from the Meep City guy to Satan, basically. But I'm not gonna talk a lot about this subject since this is a Meep City video. But Cow Cow very clearly uploaded a video of himself exploring and he got banned the next day. Kinda sad. But it still changed the course of Meepsy's development forever. <laughs> All the proof in the world would never save Alex as people still painted him as a menace though. An abuser of his power. A true heel, in other words. Probably the most hated man in Roblox history that still plays. However, he still carries a little bit of that reputation to this day, sadly. Really goes to show how much a f little bit of bad attention can do to your life. Kinda goes without saying, but Meep City took a pretty large dive after that. Alex still supported the game with updates like Meep City Kart Racing, new furniture, seasonal events as well, and a ton of quality changes. He even added back Meep City Starball as it was removed upon release. But sadly, like most of these updates, they got a little broken as Roblox changed their client. As you can see here, Meepsy Starball is sadly not functional. Despite all of these tragic blows to Meepsy and its development team, Meepsy became the first ever game to hit 1 billion visits. But something was off. Meep City still felt empty. And that's where it all comes full circle. A social Roblox game can never last because Roblox itself is ever-changing. Meep City went on the decline in terms of quality, as a social game that is, even more after Roblox had an event that shook the whole site on exactly March 15th, 2020. Inflation of the player base, not the economy. Roblox very quickly doubled in traffic on Google.com, and Roblox users quickly started popping up out of the blue, turning Roblox from an already overpopulated website that can't even handle a few million monthly players to the largest kids network in history ever. You may see where I'm going with this. In the left corner, we have the biggest children's social game. And on the right corner, we have increasing pedophilia rates on the internet and Roblox. Meep City, for a very brief time, was in its worst spot ever. And sadly, this very serious issue was just too hard for Roblox to handle on their own. 
Of course, they could take down the games that have the main problems, such as Meep City Parties, Vibe NYC, all those Vibe games you see, I don't know what's up with them, and Club Iris, but if Roblox started removing half their games, people would be pretty upset. There would be an outcry, everyone would be mad, which put Roblox in a terrible spot. However, Alex did remove the ability to name parties, and basically tried to make parties a little bit more safer. There are people who monitor the parties, and you can get banned on Meep City for very bad acts, if it gets to that point. But, as I've shown, you can't really blame Alex for this. Sure, it does happen in his game, but as I've shown, numerous factors go into Meep City's demise. The toxic community, which featured some illegal activity, if you will, and Roblox's pretty faulty moderation team at the time, and the poor coverage from the media, I wish there was a happy ending to this video. But if you see Meep City today, you'll see it does get good numbers, it does make the big bow bucks, but when you play the game, you'll just see NPCs, if you will, bots. They aren't real bots, they are of course a bunch of kids dressing up as TikTok people, and adults trying to attract kids. At least that's the hypothesis, as if you go into Meepsi servers, you will see it. It's probably like a 50-50 chance you'll see something there. And you don't see people playing the cart game or Starball because both are broken. And they all funnel into parties, which roots back to Meep City's first problem in 2016. And I think you all know what happens once they join the party. In conclusion, Social Meeps has come a long way, overcoming outstanding obstacles, breaking Roblox records, but with all of its success came the downsides of creating the largest platforms for kids. I hope you learned about not only Meep City, but Roblox, and how much stress it is to run a game for kids. It's hard to create a safe space for children on the internet, but there's only one thing you can do. Be safe, and remember to have fun. Also, along with having fun, you can drop a subscription on this... Uh... <laughs> Uh, make a comment, too. Good night. Before this Dirkumentary ends, I would like to give a few honorable mentions and side notes that I didn't really get in the video because researching takes time, it's easy to forget things. But I'd like to mention that Meep City also had a very successful toy line on Roblox, exclusive toys and whatnot. And as for the Cow Cow situation, I know I didn't explain it in detail enough about his termination and Alex Neutron kind of being responsible. You see, Green Lego Cats, aka Cow Cow, did not exploit. He had his friend give him admin, which, nah. You see, the reason why I believe that is a total lie is because Roblox checks your files within your computer for exploits. You know, the Roblox file, they, they have them. And CowCow is even more of a liar for what he tried to do to Alex Neutron and pin the blame on him. Just to clarify that, so I don't have any angry commenters saying that I wasn't clear enough that Alex Neutron was not responsible. And even if he did, he had a very good reason. Okay, that's all, thank you. Enjoy the cool outro animation, I made that myself.